Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster campaign playing as the Hunts Marshall Expedition in Total War Warhammer 2 uh, in Mortal Empires. I'm going to be getting a lot of these kind of SYDCs, I reckon. Legendary difficulty has been made significantly more difficult, and it seems like peop more people are trying it these days and failing. So we're going to, we're going to have a lot of, lot of these over the coming weeks, I'm sure. Anyway, so this situation, he's down to his last settlement. Um, he's only got four units play? left. Um, Marcus Wolfhart is wounded. And he's got max level uh, aggression. So enemy weapon strength plus 25%. Enemy leadership plus 10. Oh my god. So this is a really bad situation here. He didn't manage his aggression very well. And he's at war with... The Children of the Old Ones, Blue Vipers, and the Vampire Coast. So, a really bad situation. Although the Vampire Coast don't look too dangerous right now. It's really the Blue Vipers. Now, in my own campaign, like, I, I managed to handle the Blue Vipers, but they were they were just insane. Because early game Savage Orcs, as I've said before, are some of the best units in the game. Late game, they don't do so well. But they're really effective against, you know, Empire at the moment. And they'll have loads and loads of armies like this, so that's just, that just sucks. Now, I think that the garrison alone can actually hold off against this. I can't beat them out in the field, but in a siege battle, I believe I can win. Then there's a chance that this rebellion here will take this out. Hard to say. From what I can tell, it seems like he sent his initial, uh, his, like, army with, uh, with Wolfheart up against this army here and lost. I think. Because that's, that's the, uh, the rampage army or whatever. I don't know. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to set sail over to here. We've got enough money to reoccupy it. And if we get over here and quickly build it up, that gives us another place to build. Because we've got loads and loads of growth. So something has really gone wrong in this campaign. Um, and there might actually be some supplies there as well. Hard to say. So let's get going. Also, what this might do is force them to attack us sooner rather than later. Setting sail. Oh, we need to land Voyager. now. Yeah. Take them out. Now, there's there's no telling what's... Hang on. So there's some Regiment of Renown available. Uh, no point recruiting them this turn. It just... Because it'll just... They'll just be lost when we capture that. Um, you cannot currently recruit from Imperial Supplies. Maybe it's because we're not in home territory. I'm not entirely sure. But it's going to be difficult to find a new home if we don't have uh, an army. I don't know what else I can do. We'll just have to do that. Because there's no hope of getting a peace treaty. You can't really get a peace treaty in this game unless you're stronger than the enemy. Don't even bother trying. So I kind of have to hope they... i tell you what I really hope. I hope that this rebellion comes over here and just utterly destroys that. But in the process loses most of their forces. And then also takes out this. I have no idea what's going to happen. Alright, so this is happening. Uh, it is not game over if we lose this battle. But it's definitely not going to be good. What's the settlement look like? Just give me a good good defensive position. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can maybe work with this. We What we want is a nice deep thing. But there's a lot of entry points into the town square. So maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I don't, we'll see. Part of the problem is as well now in Legendary Difficulty is that the AI gets uh, passive experience and because of the aggression levels as well, just loads and loads of of cheats on the AI, on, which under normal stance, if, if it was on, if the AI didn't get cheats, they wouldn't stand a chance against you, but that's that's normal. But their cheats now are just bloody insane. Um, alright. Alright, so uh, not the most defensible position ever, but it's not terrible. Let me just get everyone back again. It's about the same odds as what we had previously in the Hexawaddle problem. But smaller scale battles can be turned around on, on low balance of power a lot easier than large scale battles. Um, hmm. Now, if we put units up on the wall, we got to keep in mind that Savage Orc Boys, they're faster than our troops. If we... 
Hmm. We can leave him up there for a little bit to, like, shoot a little bit on the towers, but you can't stay up there for long. Like, I mean really short amount of time. Some forces out over here as well. So their speed, 35, speed 32. Alright, having the gunners up here just, like I said, just for a really short amount of time. Same with these guys over here. For a really short amount of time. Want them to just get a couple of shots in and then get the fuck back over here. Like I said, it's not game over if we lose this. It's just not good. Just want them to get a couple of shots in, and then get back over here where we have to hold our defensive position. The walls are actually detrimental to the uh, to the defender. Well, specifically to the player because of the AI melee buffs. You want to try to avoid going into melee with them for as long as possible. Now, funny thing with the um, with the latest patch is that cheesing legendary difficulty has become even more viable now than ever. People who have refused to cheese previously are going to find legendary difficulty maybe impossible for them um so if creative assembly's goal was to try to eliminate cheesing they have gone about it the wrong way because they did say in the patch notes that oh the ai's been made smarter it has not the ai still makes the same damn decisions they just have more resources to work with that doesn't make them smarter it's more difficult sure but that's not smarter the fact that we were able to take out these Savage Orc Boy Biggins early like this is really good. Probably the highest priority unit to kill. Because the thing is, like with the aggression thing, they've gained leadership and weapon strength. So what are we trying to do? Don't enter melee, okay? They haven't gotten missile resistance. Do not enter melee with them. Can't stay up here for much longer. Still killing these guys here. Those big ones, that's really, really good. That's some powerful units that we've just eliminated there. Just up here a little bit longer. Right, yeah, it's not quite in range. Alright, let's move these guys out. Alright, let's get going. Good. That's three units of Orc Boy big ones. That's That's pretty damn good, but we got to get back over here quickly. I might need to send him to go and tank them. Maybe have the uh, the outriders go and sort them out as well. Every shot has really got to count in this one. Alright, this guy's probably going to come through first, so turn around, get ready to shoot them. Problem here as well is that they're really not going to perform very well in this battle. So we've really got to rely very heavily on the missile units. They, like, yeah, they're just not going to perform. Come on, get moving. Save the crossbowmen. We need them to use up all their ammo before they die. Right. Other thing is sending one unit to sacrifice themselves just to slow them down. That is a viable strategy. Get over here. Block that off. Try and hold them off as long as possible. Shit. Alright, 
God damn, we die so bloody fast now. You know, they did this with the Tomb Kings. They upped the cheats on the Savage Orcs by like a thousand percent, and then they dialed it back afterwards. I wonder why they do this, because they've, they've given the, the green skin cheat, uh, cheats like this before. Is he still alive? Even if we kill the enemy general, it's not gonna- Oh, hang on, get over there. It's not gonna make any difference. God damn it, a bit- I don't have any reserves left of infantry. The battles just happened so bloody quick now. Best I can. Good to see this guy come back. Come over here, try and keep them rallied. Just as long as possible. Good they broke. Yeah, keep shooting at them until they're gone. We did kill the enemy general, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But like I said, it doesn't make enough of a difference. Come over here. This side over here is not too bad now. What the hell? Oh, damn it. We, await your orders. we got more guys coming in over here. Outriders! How come they're breaking? Oh, we won! Huh. Okay then. Good. Now, another big problem is that if the settlement's probably going to still come under siege again because of the other reinforcements. Not other reinforcements, the, the other armies that are in the area. So, we're not going to get a chance to recruit anything. That's the big problem here, is like the relentlessness of the, of just the number of enemies that are here. Alright, I don't think we're going to get that many more kills. Um, get the Outriders out. Let's try and kill as many of them as possible. We might be able to get a little bit more, uh, something out of it. They're not the, the best at running enemy units down, but we can shoot them. time. And at the very least, it gave them a tiny little bit of experience. Not enough to actually get a rank up. At least we've saved the settlement for now. But you can see, like, how quickly they just ripped right through us. I mean, that amount of experience, and you know, they are big ones as well, so it, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's turn 41, you know, it's not that late in the campaign. Glad all of those guys got wrecked. Um, might as well take the money, because the, the settlement is definitely going to come under siege. If we're lucky, what'll happen is this guy will besiege the settlement, and this one here will attack them. And then besiege the settlement. If we're lucky. We definitely don't want these guys here returning. If they're even luckier, maybe they'll go and take... Okay, what are they going to do? What are they doing? <laughs> oh, man. Don't you just love it when you get lucky? Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, very nice. The wild makes oh warriors. man, no movement. It doesn't matter. We just got enough to get there. Oh, okay then. So like I said, we wouldn't have gotten any recovery. Um, we could probably sally out there and beat that. Because it's not amazing troops. Uh, let's... Let's take this first and let's see. Alright, so we're back here. Let's hope we can actually get this built. We got no intel, so that doesn't help. Um, let's get Marcus Wolfheart back over here. Marcus Wolfheart. And we can't recruit anything. And we don't have Imperial Supplies. Right. Could really use some more supplies. Okay. So, we've got some money. You, uh, what are we going to need? So, if we go with this, this will really help us against Greenskin's melee defense and leadership. Yeah, that would be good. Um, maybe I should have switched that over last turn. But at the same time, money is tight. But at the same time, Greenskin's are the biggest problem. 10 melee defense. I kind of can't turn that up. up. Of the um, I'll grab the Regiment of Renown. And we just can't recruit. So, that's... It's just... It is what it is. Don't need to worry about public order. Let's go with... We're not going to make much money anyway. Um... You know what, I think we're going to need to sally out here, because if we do that, we can recruit. Okay, we've got to keep in mind that these are... Un no, 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 the unbreakable ones are gone. Okay, they're only, they're only skinks. Okay. We should be able to manage this. God, I hope they don't come back here and besiege the settlement again. Because, yeah, we need to get that barracks back up and running so that I can just recruit some bloody soldiers. Alright, they don't have anything particularly fast, so the Outriders will be really useful in this battle. Okay, nice high ground over here. And, yeah, if we just protect the flanks... I'd rather he didn't die. It's a good defensive position. Okay. I, I think we got a good chance of winning this. I didn't leave anyone hanging around. Nope. Okay, good. Just, yeah, watch out for the javelin ones. Don't want them shooting at us. And even if we could just distract a whole bunch of them, that would be good as well. Rain's not very good for guns here. Get them. Ah. The Moving now. Right, move them separated. It's going to increase my micromanagement of it, but that's okay. This isn't too much of a micro intensive battle. So far, so good. Now this one here doesn't have to worry about the javelins. So they can get a lot closer before we have to run away. But we do have to consider that they do have a bonus 25% to their uh, weapon strength. That's not a small amount. Right there, it's just not good. Mortar! 
Might be a good idea as well. Just forget about these. Come back over here. Alright, so this is where they're coming. Alright. I'll reallocate our troops. I mean, they're not big in, so there's nothing to be concerned about here. Our guys should be able to hold the line. And with that technology that will come in next turn, that extra 10 melee defense will help so much. Otherwise, our troops are just way too squishy. This is the ideal situation right here. Get them into a nice blob, mortars, fuck them up. That's what we want to see. Oh, I just realized they're going to besiege the settlement again over the end turn. Because it's not going to wipe them out. Mm. Well, it'll still be... What we could do, though, is recruit a general in. It's going to increase our upkeep costs. Not that they're all particularly high at the moment. Yes, General. Trust the yes, General. What do you fear? We serve the Emperor. Hey, gunners, get back. So the worst of this is definitely over. Try to shoot him if we can. So the battle's won, so that's good. And uh, we just should run down as many of them as possible. Okay, that guy there didn't die, but I think it's actually a good thing, because otherwise I'll just replace him with another level 1 general. So, oh, well. <laughs> okay, then never mind. It's a shame nobody's getting any experience for that. <sighs> if we had actually wiped them out, um, maybe we could have gotten, I don't know, replenishment, but. They'll just be besieging that again over the end turn. Because it would be nice to, to actually get some recruiting done, but if they besiege it, it just won't happen. Because it's a rebel faction, it will they will definitely do that. And whilst we'll be able to wipe them out, yeah, it so I I could I could do it. Alright, let's we'll just do it anyway, and we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I think we should go with Spearman, just because we need that extra melee defense, and crossbow. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd much rather go with Huntsman, but we don't have access to them yet. Oh my god. Need some more acclaim. Hmm. Like, crossbows are good, don't get me wrong. But archers are cheap. Especially in Wolfheart's army. Yeah, now's, now's not the time for to cheap out. I still think that they will, they'll just be denied anyway. 
just the big thing here is hoping that they don't send an army over here within a few turns. Now, we do have some wounded agents that are going to show up next turn. So, that'll be great, but... You know, they, they show up when they show up. Um, I'm going to increase local recruitment uh, capacity. Marcus Wolfhart. And let's move on. Very dire situation here. So, it's has gone and occupied these settlements. Doesn't bother me, we're not at war with them. Okay, Blue Vipers didn't do anything. Great. And then, like I said, these guys will besiege, and then that will prevent the recruitment. Yeah, told you. Honestly, right now, we really need the money. Alright. I found her to be very good. And this dude here, I want him to give us some intel. I need to know what's coming. And whether or not, basically, we need to run away from, from here. Alright, looks like... Alright, looks like we're good to go for a couple of turns. Good. Monster yeah, see. So, I mean, we got our money back, I think. And we can just really resolve this this time. Don't think that they're going to come and besiege the settlement. Could upgrade this. But it's very expensive, and it doesn't provide very much money. I think that's a good choice what you did with this. That's what I'd use him for as well. Okay, that doesn't matter. And she's free upkeep, so attach her here. How did you level him up? Yeah, I'm I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Probably don't really need that, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with how you level that up. And how'd you level her, her up? Ah, oh, dude, what are you doing? Grab that! Do you know how good this is? <laughs> okay, next level up. Marcus oh, damn. Apart. Let's just get rid of them. Kill to protect! Onwards, man! Shit. Um. Let's go! I hope they don't come back. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more troops. So, we need spearmen. And get some crossbows and more spearmen. Right, tuggers. Yeah, unlikely they'll be able to reach us over here. No greater marksman. Tools of judgment ready. All right. So it's good that that's done. Don't really need this right now. We've got the money for it, but don't really need it right now. Um, that was the one we absolutely needed because that's what we're going up against. Lizardmen and greenskins. Uh, what else do you need? Receive an additional detachment of reinforcements with every Imperial Supplies delivery. That'd be pretty good. So would that. That would also be good. Alright, I think uh, I think we should try to go for this, because... Those, uh, those uh, reinforcements are really helpful. Not become the hunted. When is this gonna go away? It'll go back to normal in three turns. It's been saying that for ages now. Like, go away. <sighs> like, it takes a long time to get that, but it would increase our growth rate, and that's important. So there's, there's that. I mean, nothing else I can build here. I've got the money. 
So it's not too bad. Just have to really hope that nobody attacks him over the end turn. I might have been better staying over there. Hard to say what's going to happen here. Because we just don't have any intel. Guess I could send her to go and check. According to this, he can't reach us. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, well. Moving on, we'll see. Take him out, take him out. I want them to take out this dude. I don't know if they're at war with it. We survived an end turn. Good. And we actually got some more soldiers. Uh, it looks like they might have gone to ambush dance. And... Yeah, it's is at war with them. That might mean that Itza doesn't completely hate us. They do. No, they, they don't completely hate us. Uh, do we have any trade agreements? Let's have a look. Yeah. New World Colonies is basically the only one you're going to get a trade agreement with. I mean, we could see about getting a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, no. You can't negotiate with lizard men. No okay. greater marksman. At least this turn, they were also the able to get some replenishment there. Marcus, and we've now got the walls built here, so that's great. Um, yep, get that upgraded, and up that upgraded. That hasn't changed. we we'll go back to normal in three turns. Are you sure? It's been saying that now for three turns. It should have gone by now. Marcus Wolfhart. All right. Well, what are we gonna do then? So it wouldn't be a bad thing to have a revolt here because Marcus does need some more experience. We can't really justify coming down here. We have to defend our position for the time being. Marcus um, but at the same time, you also need that that barracks to get the huntsman. Unflinching. Alright, I'm going to, Marcus, just by regular movement, move over here, because I don't feel like it's is going to attack us, and should we recruit this turn? Because we could save up a lot of cash if we don't recruit too much. Like, they don't cost much. I might, I might just hold off, because we've got to do a lot of reconstruction. Like, walls left to be built here and whatnot, and just chill for a few turns. Because we haven't... Well, I guess we could check the area around here. Step to it. Get her to check the area as well. We need to know what's coming. So, okay, so they moved over there. Because if we take this, we have to know that we can hold on to it. Marcus, Another thing to consider is to try to get these dudes. So, Northern Spine of Sotek, that's a long way to send someone. Uh, move any character to Zlan Hopak. That's not far away. Right, I'll send her over. I need to go over here so that we get the new hero. He doesn't cost any upkeep, but to get the other dude, who's very good, we have to send him over here to the, um, sorry, to here. Wait, to here. Yes, <laughs> it's a long way to go. Yeah, it's a long way to go. But those heroes do make a big difference. So we should try to get them right, right away. Because they're free upkeep. They're immortal. It's free units. Honestly, I'm rooting for Itza to crush them. Because I reckon we'll be better against the Liz oh, early game Lizardmen, maybe. But if they if they bring out a right of primeval glory... Uh, it's not going to be good. Wait. Yeah, no, they can do that. I don't have a lot of time today, so this isn't going to be a super long episode. I might do a second. We'll see how we go. Depends how popular this is. Marcus right, so Wolfhard. stay there. Getting some recovery. I mean, there's no one here right now. We could take it. Captain of Scouts. So. 
is that where heretics lurk? Problem is, you have to besiege it for a whole turn. Because you've got no siege attackers. Yeah, I think this is bugged. I think this is bugged. Like, it shouldn't stay at this for this long. Because part of the problem as well is that if it's not going down, you can't get any more Imperial Supplies. Hunters unlocked. Settlements captured. Ports of built. Okay. At your service. Making my way. Okay, we got him. And we got the next level of acclaim. Which means we can now upgrade this. If I had enough money. We can do it next time. Marcus Wolfhart. Only the dedicated. Yeah. My deeds are legend. Alright. Um what level is this dude? Now. Eight. Okay. So I want more intel in the area. No greater marksman. If there's just nothing in the area, we should try to take this. So I'm gonna move down here. Marcus Wolfhart. And I'm how's the public order? It's fine. Um Archers, they're dirt cheap. Hang on, I don't want to. I want to be able to make sure we can build that building next turn. Is there something here we can use for reduced construction costs? No. So we've got ten units there and eight units here. Plus, we could attach some of these heroes. You can come back over here. I think we're at that point. This campaign's bugged. Alright, um... Yeah, just get some dirt cheap archers. Not too much. Uh, that should do it. Just so that we've got enough money that we can upgrade this, because we need those huntsmen. Alright. Wait, can't one of them damage the walls? Because if we could take it next turn rather than the turn after, that would be even better. Even if we don't hold on to the settlement, just don't let them get to it to like tier 4. And also provides a bit of a buffer for our other regions. So, it looks like Nakai is dead. Oh, huge surprise. Okay, supplies, that's good. Alright, what do we need? Uh, we obviously need artillery. Do you want a steam tank? War wagon mortars? Yeah, they're okay. Hellstorm rocket batteries are good. Great cannons are good. Outriders grenade launchers. Very good against um, greenskins. War wagon mortars are okay. I actually haven't used them yet. It's like, I want to go with this, but I also want to go with this. Steam tank. Yeah, I think I'll go with this, because of the Outriders with grenade launchers will be more useful right now. Still, I think that's bugged. Is it possible that that happened because... The uh, enemy unit didn't. Um, what well, wasn't killed by us? This is legendary, right? Yeah. Lady of the Globe, at your service. True knight of Britonia. Who calls? So he can damage the wall. Eighty-one percent chance of success. But we've got oh, we've got the imperial supplies. They don't cost any money. Wolfhart. Pretty much not be so. There goes all of our money. 
Alright, I want guys. intel to know if anyone's coming. Doesn't look like it. Because this was the problem with the, the previous SYDC. He didn't do any fucking intel. And he didn't see the huge swarm of... Uh, of lizard men that were going to come and capture settlement. So this one here, that's a turn away, or two turns away, so they can't reinforce in time. It's also not that big of a, de a deal. Lady of I go then. Okay. Marcus Wolfhart. The nation calls. All right, looking good. Let's move on. I'll have to fight this manually so we don't take any damage, really. Fight but that's fine. But we, we're starting to build back up now. The, the situation isn't quite disastrous. It's definitely not good. Uh, especially due to that bug. Like, I'm really concerned about that. With that, If that doesn't ever go down, you're essentially on Legendary Difficulty Plus because it's even more cheats for the AI and it's not ever going to go away. It's really, really bad. I don't know if that happened because the save file was sent from one person to another, or maybe it was bugged in the first place. I have no idea. Oh, he's always hidden. Well then, use use a pair of archers as meat shields. Because they're shit. They're cheap shit, and that's what they're basically there for, cannon fodder. Uh, wait, what am I doing? We should be attacking at the corners. Because that way I need to take out two towers, otherwise I need to take out three. Great cannon. Outriders. Let's try and take them down as quickly as possible. these stalks. That's what we need like non-hidden agents to be able to use as, as tanks for this. I could send him in a bit closer, that could also work. It's not like much damage is being taken. The uh, the towers, if, if they're not like upgraded towers, it's not a huge concern. And these are destroying it really quickly, so there we go, that's that done. Uh, just hold off there. Uh, these are garbage units. So bring over here, and we'll shoot along here. But what we want to do is make it seem like we're going to assault from here. That way they'll set all their units up on the wall for us to slaughter them. So yeah, make it seem like we're going over this way. There we go. You line them up. I'll shoot him down. Not being particularly accurate, though. But, you know, the job's getting done. If we can walk out of this one without any more casualties, that would be ideal. Properly getting set up over there. Shit. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's get the crossbows over here, and we can shoot. Yeah, over the walls. Because, yeah, why go into melee? For one thing, we've barely got any melee troops. We're, <laughs> they're just going to get killed. 
Why sacrifice our troops needlessly? Good. So we want to see a one-sided battle. That's what the AI wants to get as well. That's why they get all them cheats. There's only one of their units. Okay, there's another one over there. If I bring you over here, I'll be able to shoot at that. Army loss penalty should be inflicted any moment now. Maybe I'll bring him up on the wall so we can shoot at them. There we go. Good. Minimal damage. We'll actually end up recovering over the end turn. And... They do have a small force that's nearby, so they could besiege the settlement and come out with the other army. But we've got lightning strike, so it shouldn't be a problem. Mission accomplished. Yeah, Mission loot and occupy it. Need some cash. Lizardmen retaliate. Okay, it reset it. So maybe it'll actually start going down now. But we got another load of reinforcements, so that's actually not bad. Except for the fact I can barely afford it. Um, we don't need any more of those. Don't, I don't really need a steam tank, they're very expensive. Uh, Reichsguard, Demigriff Knights, eh, legendary difficulty. Demigriff Knights are okay, Reichsguard, they're okay as well, but I think I'm going to go with this. for Primarily for the Huntsman. Alright. Can I offer assistance? That'll be a few turns before before he comes at us, so I and generally speaking, I never really thought that was too much of a concern. Marcus Wolfhart. Campaign movement range is really useful. So double shot ammunition, extra projectiles for huntsmen, that's really Actually, I didn't see it, but that sounds good. And we'll have a lot of Huntsmen soon. So, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, a great sword. Those, those will be good as well. There's seven units in here. Uh, we could get rid of the archers if we need to. The nation calls. Alright, what do we do here? Temple of... Mm -hmm. Defender of the weak. To victory. How many settlements do these guys have? Nine. Okay. But I think they've got a lot of their forces fighting up here. Seek out. I'll try and get this guy over to here to get the the dwarf dude because he's he's really good. Wolf heart. All right. We should also disband the Regiment of Renown, just because it's better to have um, them in reserve. So it'll take 10 turns before we get them back. Marcus okay, Wolfhart. well that's looking pretty good. We don't have any Huntsmen in the army at the moment, so I should just grab... Got too many missile units. 97 upkeep. Alright, let's do it. Like, they don't cost much, so I'll just leave the army as it is right now. And we'll need to go back over here and reform things a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this, because I think it'd be better that we build walls. 
And we definitely need the money because we can barely afford what we've got at the moment. The best. Now coming down here to Chakwa, I don't think that's a good settlement for us. Ideally, it would be good if Itza just came over here and just got rid of them for us. But we'll see. Also, this one here needs to attach, but they can attach next turn. Who's at war with them? Vampire Coast. Followers of Nagash. Okay. Now, as long as they don't send an army all the way over here, then we should be okay. Alright, let's hope it actually starts going down now. Things are starting to look a lot better. I'm actually quite surprised how quickly this got turned around. Good, it is actually going down now. Good to see. Alright, still need intel out here. Cool, extra money. I wasn't even trying to do that, but that's fine. So they look like they're coming out this way. It's a... It's a fuck them up. Yeah, we know we can't get an aggression pact. Ready? Hmm. I could... I reckon I could beat that army on the field. Marcus Especially now, because these guys will do great against them. We could come down here and just sack this, it would make us a lot of money. We're at full strength now, the biggest problem though is got no front line. Like I said, get rid of these two. Now we want great swords, but look at that money, it's not lots. Uh, these guys here have better melee defense than, uh, than the spearmen, right? 44... 42 actually, they don't. They're still better because they've got more leadership. And more health. Um, we'll definitely grab this one. I mean, these big ones will still beat them in melee, especially because it's legendary. Um, how's the public order going over here? It's fine. Uh, at minus 12, we got a f minus 5 to faction. Oh yeah, because of that, that's fine. We're barely making any money here, so that leads me to want to build this. When we've got enough growth, we should probably grow, up, grow that up. But at the same time, we do need walls. Do we though? It's not frontier settlement anymore. And we really need money. So more, more money means more or better troops. But, we got four turns until the revolt. So why don't we switch this over here, that'll buy us a little bit more time. In all honesty, we could exempt this from taxation this turn. And that'll buy us a few more time, like, yeah. The nation calls. The biggest problem here is just such a lack of a front line. I mean, you could really put them in as the front line, I suppose. Um, when does the archers get done? Not for another two turns. So yeah, I kind of want to beat this army and sack this city just to make some money. This is our frontline area here now. Alright. Alright, let's move down. Why don't we go into ambush stance? Come down here. Unflinching. Mm, forgot about him. Uh, he doesn't move that far. Lady of the Glaze, at your service. It's still there's a lot of garbage in there, that's for sure. But again, the biggest problem is just really lopsided army. Proud daughter of Athol Alright. I'm gonna ambush and we'll just see how we go. Marcus What's our ambush success chance in the Marcus in the jungle area here? Hundred percent. Okay, but it all just depends on whether or not we get discovered. 
Um, so... It might be a good idea, actually, to block this army here. And just deal with this one here first. We cannot. Or not. Hero of Britonia, knightly valor. Okay. Marcus Wolfhart. Wolfhart. All right, we'll see how we go with that. Moving on. Looks like they are coming at us. Looks like we'll have to head back there sooner rather than later. They better have, better not have Necrofex Colossi. So maybe going down south to sack the city might not be a viable option right now. So did we ambush him? Yep. All right, we could just sort of resolve that. To the free. Today, you yeah, we need the money. I am the Hunt's Marshal. Now, they're in raid stance, or raid camp, which means they're going to have even more leadership and melee defense. They're costing us a little bit of money as well, and we're not at full strength. But we did gain a level up. So we could do what with that? Impervious to attack. Mm. I mean, this is really good. But it's, we're a long way away from it. That's what we had in the, uh, the Hexavital battle. Which, actually, he may have been... I don't know if he had that in that... In that campaign, I didn't really check. If he, I wonder if he had double shots. I don't think so. No, you don't need that. Just trying to think, what should we get him? Melee attack for huntsmen, reduced upkeep for huntsmen and archers. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Alright. Now we do outnumber them by a decent margin. I trust no man. And it will take them a few turns to get over here. Tom Sawyer, huh? Right, they're recruiting another army over here. It won't take long before they're up and running. Ragtuggers. Alright, I think we should defeat them, and then we're not going to have time to come over here and sack this, I think. Well, we'll see how we go after we beat this. If we beat it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to order something. Don't even care about them. Yeah, that, that's actually a really good result, I think. I've no time for human baggage. Alright, so I can't get there this turn. If we were to sack it, we would make 4,200. We're pretty good for money. They will be judged. We gotta go back and deal with the Vampire Coast. We can't let them capture that settlement. So, where did we have to go? It was, like... Spine of Sotek. Yeah. Marcus Wolfhart. So we could just go back and recruit them, those extra soldiers, or we could grab them. Now, it might be better if I just leave them in reserve, in case an emergency situation shows up in the future for him. He can just hire them immediately. It's it's good to build up a, a stockpile of these troops. Like I said, we don't really need them right now. Alright. Uh, this will definitely revolt eventually. Alright, tax that again. Uh, let's switch this away from not being taxed. Let's go to growth. Marcus Wolfhart. Alright, let's have a look here. Spread public order? No, no, you definitely need that. Marcus Wolfhart. 
I'm just wondering, should we force march back here? No, we should be fine to get... How many turns until they arrive? Force march to here, then to there. We're looking at maybe two turns until they get back. Marcus Wolfhart. Alright, yeah, better better height to it back. It is time. Alright, cool. They're unlikely to assault the settlement the turn they besiege it, and if we hang around here in ambush stance, we could maybe catch them by surprise. But I don't really have time to do that, so what I'll do is just set it up. And we'll see. If this was a popular campaign, I'm happy to do a second episode. And if you guys don't want me to continue it, then I won't. Yeah, here they come. Spoiling my plans. Oh, the blue vipers are not that much stronger than us. In fact, they might actually be weaker than us. Something happened to them. Still can't get a peace treaty. I don't think they ever accept peace. But somebody fucked them up. Apart from us. Marcus Wolfhart. Okay. So, all we gotta do, really, is... Okay. It's unlikely they can besiege the settlement next turn. Yeah, just force march to here, and then it's all good. I might leave it at this, because uh, I've got to go. Don't have time for this. We've got an hour-long episode. That's good enough. It's definitely disaster averted for the time being, but, you know, it's not a great situation. But anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, fuckers.